guys, we are headed to Black Sox practice number two. It's a Saturday. We canceled Tuesday night because it was snowing. I was running early for practice, and now I'm going to be just on time or maybe a couple minutes late. Stupid GPS blows brought me to the hockey practice facility, not the baseball. Uh, even though I typed in the right damn street. So we are rushing to get there now, but I am pretty excited. I feel good. I have now four weeks in on the gym, putting some weight back on, feeling strong. Um, a couple more former team members have confirmed that they're back, so we are at about 12 players right now, which is right around where I want to be. Probably gonna add a 13th just because some won't be able to make it all the time. Uh, one of our pitches, Godfrey, is gonna get deployed at some point, which is a bummer for us, but you know, great for him that he's still doing that. So we'll have him as much as we can until he leaves. A couple games is good enough for me. Um, so a lot of people have I'm kind of thinking I'm crazy for still trying to play baseball while I wait for a heart transplant. Um, so I'm going to get into that when I have more time after practice on the reasons why I still want to play and why I'm going to play. Uh, so hopefully we get there, take some good swings again today, and uh, I'll talk to you guys after practice. Alright, we're here now. I'll show you the new equipment. So we got this uh, chest protector. You guys are all I'll just put a bucket out there. Alright, sweet. Thanks, man. No problem. Still have to get a doctor approved, so I'll keep the uh, price tag on this thing until then. Yeah, I can swing it. Right, let's go. Hey, nice rip.
This year, man, we're coming strong. Yeah. Real strong. So, I figured if we stop practicing this early so we know the routes by the time the first game comes around. To the ice center because if you type in northeast is to go to it it brings it to some old extra innings building not even the one from east oh, really? and it says it has a sign for northeast is pointing behind the building i did the same thing i drove around three times and i'm like this does not look like the same place from last week is it close though? 10 minutes oh. but he's been there for 20 minutes and i told him you're at the wrong place because I know but now I'm at the right place and I'm like no you're still at the wrong place <laughs> building All right, so after yesterday's practice, I made a video, but it came out like crap on the editor. So I'm doing a quick one now. Basically go over yesterday. The cages went well. I felt great. Uh, the rest of the guys felt, looked and felt pretty good too. Uh, I feel stronger than I did last week's practice. Um, I hit okay with the chest protector. So I think I'll be okay to play. I just got to get the doctor's 100% approval to play. Um, which I don't see why not. Uh, to give you an idea of what my situation is, if you're not sh sure exactly what happened, last August I felt sick. Thought I had the stomach bug. I was throwing up constantly. Kept getting sweats. Then I'd be okay for a day. Then I'd go back to the gym. Then I'd feel like crap again. Um, I was still playing baseball. I was throwing up in the outfield. Just thinking it was, again, just a stomach bug that would go by. Uh, I was still fishing. Nothing was stopping me, and then finally two weeks went by, and people were like, you should go get checked out. 
So I went to the walk-in thinking I just needed some medicine for the stomach bug. And, you know, that's what people online were saying was going around at the time. So, anyways, they decided to test my heart out. And I was like, come on, my heart, I just need some medicine for the stomach bug. I'll be fine. So they did an EKG and they, the results weren't good. So next thing you know, I was sent to a hospital by ambulance. Uh, then I was diagnosed with stage four congestive heart failure. So basically my heart was only pumping 10 to 15% of my blood flow throughout the rest of my body. Um, so then I was transferred to Mass General in Boston. Uh, they spent probably the first five weeks or so trying to figure out why, what caused it, um, and try to save it, but it was too far gone. Uh, my left side was basically junk, my right side was enlarged, my valves were severely leaking, but the rest of my body was fine, all my organs were fine. Um, so we had to have an LVAD pump put in, which kind of looks like a, like a turbocharger, and it's at the bottom of the left side of my heart. And a tube gets screwed in through my heart so the blood comes through and then into the pump and then pushed out to the rest of my body and then I'm hooked up to the battery packs that runs through me all the time and the power goes through me right here so I have to take care of this wound every other day basically uh, so I don't get an infection so that being said um, now I just wait for a new heart, could be a while, I should hopefully finally get on the transplant list this month, um, but then I could be on the list for a year or two, um, who knows, so trying to live life to the fullest and do everything I was doing before that I love, and that's where baseball comes in, uh, right next to fishing, but um, baseball has been a part of my life forever, since I was a little kid. I have lots of memories. That's all I've ever done uh, from T-ball. You know, I actually stunk at T-ball. I couldn't hit off the tee until they finally took the tee away because I was used to playing in the backyard with my father and hitting off him. I never used the tee. Um, so th throughout Little League, um, I was always did pretty well. I was never one of the biggest names in town but I was an all-star pretty much every single year from like the minors through a senior league I don't know I think there's only maybe one year I never made the all-stars but I was always on the all-stars always on the traveling team as I got older though I uh, started thinking too much and once you, stuff gets in your head I came down with Chuck Nall block disease once um, so my pitching and defense started slowly going away, which was my strong point for most of my Little League. But then I became a better hitter as I got older. Um, played freshman and sophomore year in high school. Um, different things as I got older. You know, they, they tried changing my delivery in baseball, which kind of screwed up with my head because I kind of threw side on. And I was fine. I was all-star pitcher um, most of the time in Little League. Um, one of my coaches always called me his ace and still does, Mr. McGonagall. Um, then I had another good coach, Bill Garanaro, after him that I pitched for. But um, just as as I got older, they, they tried changing things and it, I just didn't take. So um, if you're out there and you're playing Little League and stuff or going into high school, don't always listen to your coaches if they're trying to change what you feel comfortable with doing. Um, chances are you're never going to go pro. That's just the way it is. So do the best you can while you're playing the game. Play as long as you can. Um, and just feel comfortable playing. You know, don't let them get in your head. I mean, some of their, you know, don't. Coach, you know, obviously listen to your coach, but um, don't let them mess with your head. Um, but if they give you pointers, obviously, take them if it works for you. So anyways, uh, going into high school, I started trying to pitch again. And I had a good spring, freshman year and sophomore year. Um, and then politics came in again. Um, 
in my freshman year. I was having a great tryout. Um, defensively and hitting both were uh, at my best at the time. Uh, the coach was using me for an examples. I thought I was going to get called up to JV, but then first game comes around and I go from being the starter to EH and batting at the end of the lineup. He tried giving me some baloney that uh, it's, it's best to have your best hitter at the end of the lineup for some reason. But it was politics. Um, that's always kind of been the case in Burker. Uh, if you suck and your father's a big name in town, you're going to play just the way it is. So that's why I like coaching now because I don't have to worry about that crap. I keep it equal. Um, and that kind of got into my head again too and I came down with the Chuck Nall block disease again. I, couldn't, I went from second and shortstop to not be able to throw the ball from second base to first base. So... Uh, that was probably the only time I started getting out of baseball because I was just done with the crap and I kind of got into, you know, party and scene. So junior year, I didn't even play. I, I just played in the traveling team in town. I didn't even bother with high school. And then in senior year, I didn't play at all. I just got out of baseball. But after a few years after graduation, I was hungry, hungry to play again, and I was playing pickup ball on the weekends and stuff, and then found this league in Lowell, started a team up, and now uh, this will be my 10th season. Um, we've been to the championship eight years in a row, winning four championships, and I, I just love to play. I just uh, love the talent that come across and play for me. Had a lot of great pitches that are fun to watch. You know, some people say, oh, you're playing in Lowell. So not the same as playing in Boston. Well, I guarantee over the years my team could have competed in those Boston leagues, whether we would have won championships or not. Probably, maybe not, but we would have been competitive. Um, you know, I've seen teams come into our league from other leagues thinking they're going to roll us over, and they never have. We've been the one or two team for the past eight years um and we're still going strong and i've had a lot of kids come in pitching after college that could pitch anywhere um and i just like watching them so just being a dh and coaching on the sideline is fine i enjoy watching these kids pitch right in front of me i'd rather watch that than going to a red sox game and i've had guys like shoal pitch for me for a long time won me some championships uh Dylan Dennis came in throwing heat. He was fun to watch. Uh, I had a kid, Henry, who uh, was cut by the single A Braves, come in just blowing people away. Um, recently, Brock Riley has played for us and pitched, and he's top 25 ranked um, to get drafted this year in the MLB. Uh, playing at Salem State right now, I believe. Um, well, so we've had Nick Godfrey's awesome to watch. Jay Kelly's awesome to watch. And then other guys, you know, other hitters and stuff that have been fun to play with. Great teammates, Mike Blair, um, Higgins, Brown. I could go on and on. Swales, uh, Bradley. Now, current guys, Raj, Parisi. Um, there's just so many guys, like... Just big giant family over and over. If I could ever have all the same guys on the team at the same time, we could definitely take anybody in any other league, I bet. But usually I only get 12 guys committed each year. So anyways, uh, that's why I still want to play. It's just because I, I love the game. I'm not ready to give it up. Uh, if I just coach and hit, that's good enough for me. Uh, we should be pretty competitive this year with the uh, group of guys we got coming back. Uh, Nick Powell is coming back to pitch this year, which will try to help out huge. Um, so I'm excited. So uh, we're just going to wait to see what the doctor says. I'm going to keep working out, um, keep going with cages, and hopefully it warms up soon so we can get outside. And uh, 
we'll go from there. So go Black Sox. Play with heart.